Very good evening and welcome to news on Prime TV. I'm Shaturangi De Silva and we'll take a look at the headlines first. The president has pointed out that civilians, including in the North and East, were equally enjoying all privileges. More than 500 families are resettled within the Jaffna High Security Zone. Minister Navin Visanayak emphasizes that he and his mother will continue to support the president. Public servants will receive the increased cost of living allowance tomorrow. At our news overseas, the Afghan US-based suicide attacker is identified as a double agent. Well now for the news in detail, the local news first. The government has succeeded in granting all privileges enjoyed by the civilians of the rest of the country to the people of the North and East. President Rajapaksha said that he is committed to further improving the living standards of the entire nation. Ahar arbu dia kena kuda mulu loke ma pelapali, anak kuda kada kamar kada di apa mini sunta api kanda duna. Winston Churchill dengkalan te yudhe kerana bilave u kiuwe, api dah dengna pulu ang kanda lu sah. The president said that when the entire world was embroiled in a food crisis, Sri Lankans did not experience hunger. The government fulfilled their needs. He recalled what Winston Churchill said when he was waging a war. He told the people that he could give them only blood and tears. But the president emphasized that they did not do so. He said the people should not forget that while the government was meeting all the requirements of the nation, the people were brought together, sinking all differences, with the purpose of waging the battle. <laughs> the president was addressing a meeting held at Madhamulana this morning. The meeting was held with Sanasa members. Speaking further, the president said he will leave no room to divide the country which had been liberated. The president referred to the initiatives taken to further strengthen the cooperative movement. More families liberated from the terrorists have been resettled. Senior presidential advisor and parliamentarian Basse Rajapaksha has assured that the remaining families will be immediately resettled in their places of origin. Basil Rajapaksa said the president has united the country and assured peace to everyone. From today onwards, the civilians receive the opportunity of living in their villages. The other civilians will also be resettled in their families with the instructions of the president and with the approval of the defense ministry. 509 families comprising 1,660 members of the Tilipale, Kopai and Udaval Divisional Secretariat Divisions coming under the high security zone was resettled yesterday. The ceremony related to the resettlement was held at the Tilipale Central College under the patronage of Chief of the Uttaruvasanthya Task Force and Parliamentarian Basil Rajapaksa. Each resettled family is being provided 100,000 rupees. The provision of a cash grant under the first stage took place on this occasion. Resettled families and school children were awarded 1,000 bicycles. Minister Douglas Devanandan, Northern Governor G. H. Chandasuri and Chief the Commanding Officer Major General Leonard Mark were present on this occasion. Minister Navin Visanayak has emphasized that he will never ditch the government. Speaking at a media briefing, he noted that not only his support, but also his mother's support is for the president. He told the media that he had been engaged in politics for 20 years. He gave forward only one condition to the president. The president was told that he would be with the president if he continues to take initiatives against the LTT outfit, which is suspected of killing his father. The president clearly mentioned that he would continue his actions against the LTE, whatever pressure he had to confront. 
Mr. Desanayake said that it was on this condition that he was supporting the president. He wanted to be with the leader who had ended the war in throning peace in the country. He pledged continued support to the president. The Ceylon Workers' Congress pleasures its full support to the president. Its leader and Minister Aramugam Thundaman pointed out that they had not changed their policy of supporting the president. No force can alter the decision taken by them. The minister said that the CWC was dedicated to ensuring the president's victory. Minister Anurag Priyadarshaniyapa has referred to the democratic rights that are being restored to the northern and eastern civilians. Addressing the weekly cabinet news briefing, the minister said, We have liberated the Tamil society. We have disbanded the militarized regime in the northern and eastern provinces. We are slowly giving them the democratic rights that they want to enjoy. We have already started this process. So we are exactly doing opposite to what the Sambandans are thinking. You're watching Prime News and still on the local segment, public servants will receive the increased cost of living allowance tomorrow. The government has decided to increase the cost of living allowance granting maximum relief to the public servants. The state employees will receive their payments for the months of November and December. The total cost of living allowance due for this month is 5,250 rupees. It will be added to the January salary. In addition, the Finance Ministry announced that the increased cost of living allowance for pensioners will be paid along with this month's pension. The increased amount is 2,375 rupees and is calculated with effect from last November. The Finance Ministry said that the necessary instructions have been issued to Ministry Secretaries and Heads of Departments. Colombo Fort Magistrate case Lanka Jayaratna today remanded a suspect of a company allegedly owned by the son-in-law of presidential candidate General Sarat Fonseca until January 20th. She gave this ruling after considering a confidential report by the CID. The suspect is said to have acted as a director of the said company. According to the Daily Mirror website, he was arrested for allegedly cheating public money by presenting forged documents to the Sri Lanka Army while the company was supplying equipment. The CID informed court that the alleged scam would exceed 25,000 rupees and therefore they are filing this case under the provision of Public Property Act. The CID had also seized several computers and other equipment which belonged to the suspect and moved to produce those computer data to the IT unit of the Colombo University. The number of public servants qualified for postal voting at the presidential polls is 401,119. The election secretariat said that 57,036 applications had been rejected for giving false information or submitting applications after the deadline for receipt of applications. The election secretariat said that measures are in place to establish voting centers in government departments and divisional secretariats. Well, up next is Prime World.